All right, so you've made the decision to move and relocate to San Antonio, Texas, and you're wondering, is there a best time of the year to move to San Antonio? Now that's a great question and there's so much to add to that, so stick with me here as we kick it off on when's the best time to move to San Antonio, Texas. Here we go. Howdy folks and welcome. If you're new to my channel and new to me, well, I'm Mina Slaughter and I make videos all about what it's like living in San Antonio, Texas, the areas surrounding the Alamo City, and I love covering the best neighborhoods, the communities, and the top things to do so you can get a real feel of what it's like to live here in San Antonio, Texas. Yes, yes. I'm going to be talking about the up, down, left, and right, what it's like to eat, sleep, play, breathe here, and everything in between here in San Antonio. So if you're not new here, welcome back. It's great to see you. Make sure y'all smash that subscribe button and tap that notification bell, and you'll get notified anytime we upload a new video on this channel. Now, your support helps me reach more people that are looking to call San Antonio, Texas home. It also helps me learn about new topics that you're interested in, or if you're thinking of moving to San Antonio, Texas, I am a licensed realtor, so you'll see that number on your screen. And look, we get so many folks that are reaching out, that are relocating to Texas, they're PCSing with the military, or they're already here looking for a place that best fits their lifestyle. However the case, go ahead and you can do the same thing and shoot us a text, give us a call, send us an email, schedule down in the Zoom link down below. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back when it comes to living in San Antonio, Texas. So you're probably wondering, why are we talking about the best time to move to San Antonio? So first off, it's actually a question we get asked frequently due to the housing market, both on rentals and on home purchases. Now, I know we all know that the market's been a little bit weird and crazy and interest rates are going all over the place and folks are really dialing back and analyzing do I rent or do I purchase? What's going on in the market? I'm relocating and what do I do? So again, we're talking about the best time to move to San Antonio. So making these challenging choices, it can be really confusing. You're going into a new place and you don't know what's happening. So you should know that here in San Antonio, inventory is still really low and builders are still playing catch up. Now you're seeing a lot of prices decrease and you're still seeing homes sit now in the market from two weeks now all the way up to before it was up to two weeks they would be coming off the market, but now you're seeing them sit up to about 63 days. So we've really seen a huge shift. However, inventory is still thin and there's not a lot of choices. So now this has really kicked up the rental market. Now talking about the rental market now, now if you're not purchasing a home and you need a place to live, then you're renting. So now we've seen rental inflation rates go up 40%. So now you're talking, okay, I used to be paying $1,000, now add 40% to that, okay? So inflation's gone up on rentals. So let's just talk about this real quick. $15 to $2,900 a month you're paying in rent. That's $18,000 to $34,800 a year on renting. Just do the math in the long scheme of things, you really have to decide, is it best to rent or is it best to buy? So it's really, You've really got to strike that hammer and hit that iron and look and take your time and take a look and see what's going on in the rental market. Think about how much money you're spending when you're renting a house. Most people don't realize you're paying a security deposit that's often equal to what you're paying in rent, sometimes a little more. A cleaning deposit, you've got application fees for everybody over the age of 18 that are going to be living in that house on that lease. You could have pet fees, pet deposits, pet rent. By the time everything's said and done, you're paying thousands of dollars to rent someone else's home. And it equates a lot of times to a down payment on your own home. So start doing your research early, folks. Give us a call. We'll help you navigate your options. If you need help with credit, if you have lender questions, my colleague and my business partner, Leon St. Jean at Cardinal Financial, he can answer any questions. He can put you on any path to home ownership. It just takes a little bit of time. You gotta start early. Now, another reason we're talking about this secondly, it's a huge factor as we have busier seasons when you're relocating here to San Antonio. Now, I know you've heard me say this in other videos, but we are called Military City USA. 
Now, San Antonio has a huge influx of military presence here. We have Joint Base San Antonio has all the bases covered. So we have high PCS relocations. We've got vets relocating here and retiring. We have civilians that are coming here for jobs. So all year round, San Antonio is really kept on its toes when it comes to the housing market, both on rentals and on home purchasing. So give us a call early. So does the weather affect moving to San Antonio? Well, it depends where you're coming from and what you're used to, I think, to be truthful. So I'm going to tell you during the times of the year, the weather here, in my opinion, when it's raining and super humid. I mean, who wants to move their couch in the pouring rain in and out of a moving truck? And since San Antonio gets 29 to 32 inches of rain per year, that's definitely something to consider in my book. Now, another time of the year is when it's super hot. So rain can happen all year long and it's really hot all year long, but I would think summertime would be the most difficult time to move because it's so hot and humid. If there's no rain and there's no wind, it's just hot. Nonetheless, if you're coming from places, let's say Seattle or Portland, this might not even play a role for you as you're used to the humidity and the weather and the rain. Now, if you're coming from New York, now it might be a huge shocker for you as we get really hot temperatures here. And I know a lot of folks back east only have window units and up north, they don't even have air conditioning at all. So that's really something to consider when relocating to San Antonio, Texas. I tell everyone, yes, we have four seasons, but really it's just cool, hot, hotter than hot and hot as hell. So really that's what this weather feels like here. So like I said, the busiest times of the year and the craziest times of the year during the weather is usually during the summertime. So everyone's out of school, new jobs are happening, military's PCSing and relocating. So summertime does get to really be hectic, especially if it's hot or rainy. Now talking about spring or fall months, now we do see a moderate pace still relocating into the city. Now they'll still relocate here even though it's warm and you'll get cooler temperatures in the upper 80s and the high 50s at night. However, now you've got to think about all the allergens are kicking into full force as we're doing the seasonal shift and all that mountain cedar is coming to just really dust up the place, make you sneeze, make your ears itch. So just another thing to consider. But again, San Antonio's weather really is great year round. It's awesome. I mean, you'll get the wind, you'll get the rain, you'll get the heat, but again, it's a warm, great place to live. Now, when moving in general, you prepare way in advance, am I right? So most people start preparing months in advance, so they wanna know the cost, what it's gonna to take to prepare to get to their new destination. So San Antonio happens to be on that location, so let's talk about some of your choices. I'm gonna give you an option to move yourself, and I'm gonna give you an option of a company. So let's consider some of these questions, okay? So what is the best moving company for me and my family? Now that's really up to you. Now there's so many places to consider and I've heard a lot of options, but what I hear consistently is two men in a truck were pretty awesome. They offered him tons of options and they tailored it even to how many flights of stairs they were going up and how many steps they were walking back and forth to the truck. So definitely check out two men in a truck. And I only say that because I've heard it so many times. Now, if you wanna do it yourself and it's more cost effective to you on your pocket, then the number two mover in America is U-Haul. That's right, U-Haul it. So it's actually the number two movers in America doing it yourself. So think about the best options for yourself. It's really up to you. So do you have time to unload and pack, unpack your entire house or do movers help and save you time, give you time back so you can focus on other areas of the relocation? Now, some folks want to make it financially feasible and U-Haul is a great way to do that. And it's a cost effective way and you can get a tow hitch and a trailer and bring any additional vehicles and just drive yourself across the country. I've done it a couple times. It's fun to pull over, check out new places, and who knows, you might make it an adventure. So like I said, it's really up to you when it, when it comes to cost effectiveness on relocating your family to San Antonio, Texas. Now, I will tell you this, there are busier times during the year when you're using moving companies, so I would really check into it in advance. Usually it gets busier in the summer, in the late spring, and most folks start relocating them because once again, Families are out of school, jobs are changing, military is relocating, PCS, veterans are retiring, civilians are coming in here to San Antonio to move. So there's a lot of things going on when it comes to relocating your home and re relocating your family to anywhere. 
So like I said, summer is busier, so I would check into advance because I've heard from past clients that they actually raise their rates during the late summer and early spring so they can capitalize on all those moves. So it's definitely a good thing to get way ahead of the ball game on that. Now, most of them provide free quotes, just so you know, so go check it out when it comes to moving to San Antonio, Texas. So when is the best time to move to San Antonio? Well, there's really no better time to move to San Antonio, but if you're trying to time the market for both rentals and purchasing, then there are seasons to consider. It is really busy in the summer when the kids are out of school, lots of military and non-military families are in transition. So during this time, they don't wanna pull their kids out during the school year. Now this can make for some issues with the market during the summertime, having low inventory still, home buyers still continue forward, and we won't see anything like we saw during the pandemic or anything close. Let's just close that chapter of the book. Right now, this is kind of the new normal for right now until we cushion into next year. So you will still see bidding wars on some homes during the summer. So just start preparing early as there's no better time to start getting ready to move. Now in the winter months, depending on where you're coming from, the weather might play a huge role for you in your move. Now I get it, there's a ton of snow and safety might be a concern for you if you've gotta use chains to get out, moving moving trucks, things of the, that nature. So when it comes to your actual relocation, here in Texas, it's cool, warm, hot, blazing hot, hella hot. So you don't have to really worry about that too much other than you'll have to worry about the occasional rains as San Antonio does receive 29 to 32 inches of rain per year. And we do get some really crazy winds. And like I said, it gets really hot here. Some other things to consider when purchasing your new home. Now, when you are relocating, you must consider you have a 21 to 30 day time frame to get into a new home. Now, if you're looking for a rental home, you can get into a home as close as three to five days, depending on the rental management company. If you get in the docs quick, your deposits fill out your applications. Now, if you're looking for these rentals, don't start looking any earlier than a month. Most are gonna be vacant, move-in ready, and they're turning the lease fast. The management companies, they just, they wanna turn the houses fast. So if you get applied too early, they might pass on your application or they'll want you to play, uh, pay some prorated rent to hold the tenancy for a short time. Because remember, the longer it stays open, the more money it's costing them in the long run. So be mindful, they're gonna want that deposit to take that tenancy if you're trying to move in too early. So timing's really gonna be everything when it comes to the rental market and the home purchasing market. Remember, everything can take up to 30 days to close on a new home, or it could take longer depending on if there's any holdups, appraisal holdups, especially in the summer. Sometimes appraisers get so overwhelmed that appraisals can run 45 days depending on who the lender is. So definitely some things to consider. And like I said in the very beginning, there is no better time to move to San Antonio, Texas, in my opinion. Well, there you have it, folks. We covered the best time to move to San Antonio, Texas, and how to get you here to the Alamo City. Now, I've kept it real with y'all. I kept you up to date, letting you know the best time to move, the moving companies, the weather, how it affects your move, and all these other things you'll most likely experience when you're making your move out to San Antonio, Texas. Now, look, if you've made it this far and you haven't hit the like button already, please go ahead and do so. It's gonna help anyone else looking for these videos to be able to find them. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and tap that notification bell, and you'll be notified anytime we put out a new video on this channel. Now, like I said back in the beginning of this video, we get so many people reaching out that are thinking about making the move, they're determined to make the move, or they're already here looking for a place that best fits their lifestyle. Whatever category you fall under, just shoot us a call, send us a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom down in the link below. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back when it comes to living in San Antonio, Texas.